if you had to make one distinction between the character you play and who you are, what would you like people to be most confident of? You cooler than cooler than Ron? Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Um, you want to reassure people you wouldn't oh, yeah. have worn that coat? <laughs> no, no, yeah. <laughs> I like to think I'm a bit uh, braver than him because he can be a bit of a wimp sometimes. And uh, I don't know. I, I always felt I could sort of relate to him in some ways anyway. Like, uh, obviously, we both got ginger hair and big families, so... Yeah, ginger hair and big families. <laughs> yeah, that's us, yeah. What about you? Anything you want to reassure people? I, I think, like most people, I wouldn't say I am... As brave as Harry is, really, sort of in contrast sort of to what Rupert said, <laughs> I, I don't think I, I am actually as brave as Harry is. I think few people sort of are, really, because I think he's... And, I, and I'm obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not as troubled as Harry because, you know, I, I didn't lose my parents at age one, I think he was, or something like that. So it, it was, it, yeah, I think that's probably the main, main thing. Cause what about you? You're presumably incredibly clever... <laughs> no, um, no, not as clever as she is anyway. She's, you know, in a bit of a league of her own. Um, but no, probably, well, hopefully, I'm not going to get any support from these two, but hopefully it's less, um, less annoying. She's quite... Um, no, you aren't as annoying as someone. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> there you go. No, there is a bit of support there. But no, she's, um, she's so... She's quite wound up, Hermione. She's really, you know... Um, What's the word? Um, she's uptight. Yeah, she's uptight. She's uptight. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. Thank you, Dan. Mm -hmm. um, she's so sort of um, eager, and um, you know, which is which is great. But probably um, I'm a little well, bit more chilled out. Yeah. You know, a little yeah, bit yeah. more relaxed. But um, yeah, no. Swim. Do a back somersault. Hey, back to your kit. Yeah. Okay. Dan rose to the challenge and undertook something that I think you know, many adults would have been fearful of. He was brilliant. We obviously wanted to get as much practice in as possible for the underwater stuff, so we trained for about six months before. We started off not very deep at all, just in a normal, quite shallow swimming pool. It was great because I just could go down there and be confident. We all wanted it to look as natural as possible, and so that's why we trained for so long. And then I was ready for the 20-foot tank. How's that, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, great. Very good. Fantastic. Yeah. Being youngsters, we needed to be able to create the under, underwater environment, so we designed and built this tank. It's a very complex piece of equipment. The tank itself holds about half a million gallons of water, which is two and a half million litres. It's probably the best tank in the world for filming. With Dan's in, go straight over to the rocks with Dan. That's Dan descending downstairs here. When I actually went in, it was so vast, so much more so than I had actually imagined. Dan, it's so nice and slow on the way in. Dan also has to worry about one other thing, which is performance. You know, it's all right swimming around like a fish, but Dan eventually has to give you the, the Harry Potter performance. A boy, Harry. Your parents would be proud. Especially your filthy muggle mother. You don't know where he's coming from. I think when people are very scary when you don't know quite. When you suspect they might suddenly do something very violent. <laughs> you have to judge that. Try and get it right. It's not too much. And yet if it's not forceful enough, it doesn't count. Travel in packs. How are you supposed to get one on their own to ask? What I like about Harry is he's pathetic at, at the whole romance thing. He's rubbish. <laughs> There's a really good scene with one of the last ones we shot with Harry and Cho where he asks her to the ball. And he does it incredibly without any kind of tact. He kind of shouts it out like, I just wondered if she wanted to go to the ball with me. Sorry, I didn't catch that. So many people can relate to this terrible issue of um, of asking people out. I know how it feels to be kind of standing there going, oh, yeah, and having nothing to say. What happened to you? I just asked Fleur de la Cour out. What? I couldn't help it. Just sort of slipped 
out. In real life, it was pretty scary. So um, it was a lot easier to do acting. We and our guests gather in the Great Hall for a night of well-mannered frivolity. This year, there's the issue of the girls, the dancing and the Yule Ball. Everyone was dressed up. None of us had a clue what we were doing. I knew I was going to have to dance in front of everyone else. I'm afraid of falling or something, and everybody turned around pointing and laughing. All the kids were able to let loose. 